A Colorado man convicted of stalking a woman says he was exercising free speech. Now the U.S. Supreme Court will be weighing in on this case. CBS 4's Rick Salinger on the story this evening at the Colorado Court of Appeals. And Rick, that's where this case was heard previously. Yeah, it all started in Arapahoe County, Jim, where this defendant was convicted. Then he lost again on appeal. Now the issue involved has taken it all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. The case involves a Denver singer, Coles Whalen, and the unwanted attention she received. That attention was from this man, Billy Raymond Counterman. He was convicted of stalking Whalen. He sent her thousands of messages on Facebook, including, I've had tapped phone lines before. What do you fear? And I'm currently unsupervised. I know it freaks me out, too, but the possibilities are endless. Legal analyst Karen Steinhauser says the issue is how far can a threat go? Where do we draw the line, particularly with as much social media that we have, which with Facebook, with with everything, where do we draw the line between what is protected First Amendment free speech versus when do we criminalize? Waylon claimed that she believed she was stalked for six years by countermen. He first contacted her after she performed at a gay pride festival in Denver with messages including dying. The type of, of words, the type of speech that causes somebody to be concerned for their own personal safety. The nation's highest court has now agreed to take the case over just what is threatening language. An interesting issue. We reached out to the parties involved in this case, but on this holiday, we have not yet heard back. Live in Denver, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.